Good afternoon, kiddos. It's Miss Mac here, coming to you on a Monday in May. Today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you for all you Luke Skywalker and Star Wars fans. I certainly am one. So I hope the 4th will be with you all day today. You have a great day. This also is a week that will end with um, Mother's Day. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. So this week I'm going to feature some books about moms, some classics. Also tomorrow is... Uh, May the 5th, and this whole week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so I'm not trying to toot my own horn about that, but tomorrow is kind of the designated day for appreciating your teacher. So if you want to make cards or notes and post them online or mail them to them or send them an email message, uh, that would be fantastic to say thank you to your teachers out there because this is a week that we celebrate teachers, and that will be very exciting if you do that. So thank you in advance for making sure you're on it. And this week, I want you all week to be good to your moms, especially. And if you're not living with your mom, then it'll be good to your grandma or your aunt or your stepmom or the woman in your life that is your mama figure. And for a lot of my kiddos, I was Mama Mac. And Mama Mac loves you so much and misses you. So as we hear this very chill song, we'll make it Chill Monday. So find somewhere comfortable at your house without distractions, not in front of a TV or a, a, a DS or any other gaming system, and maybe have your journal. And I'm going to read you the classic today, Are You My Mother? And I'm sure a lot of you know this classic story. Turn down the music. And here we go. Are You My Mother? I love this first picture. Pay attention, there's a mama bird, and she's digging for worms, and right here goes baby bird. Keep that in mind. A mother bird sat on her egg. Maybe you've seen some mother birds in their nest recently. The hummingbirds are finally showing up again, too. The egg jumped. Oh, oh! So the mother bird, my baby will be here. He will want to eat. So this is a sign to the mother that the egg's about to hatch. So she's going to go search for some food. That will explain why she was absent. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped, it jumped, and jumped. <gasps> Crack! Out came the baby bird. Isn't he cute? Do we have enough light? Where is my mother, he said. He looked for her. He's way up high, isn't he? He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. Hmm. I will go and look for her, he said. So, away he went. Uh-oh. Good idea, bad idea. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. Now, if you know anything about baby birds, why didn't he just fly? Takes him a while to get those wings working, doesn't it? The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now, I will go and find my mother, he said. He's a brave little guy. He did not know what his mother looked like because he had never seen her before. He went right by her and he did not see her. And this is like the page at the beginning. She's over here digging for worms to feed him. And here he is. He walked on by. He didn't know what his mother looked like. He doesn't know what he looks like. 
They didn't have mirrors in the nest. So he came to a kitten. Mm. Well, you know about cats and birds. Oh, well. He came to a kitten. Are you mine, mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It didn't say anything. It's like a baby itself. So I guess he doesn't know he's supposed to eat birds. It's a good thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen, which of course is a mother chicken. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. At least he's in the bird family, isn't he? The kitten was not his mother. Now I want you to keep up with this. First person was the first creature was a kitten. The hen was not his mother. Number two. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said, but where? Where is she? Where could she be? Now this page gives you an idea of what's coming up next. What does that look like it belongs to? A cougar. <laughs> Hopefully not. Huh? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother, he said to the dog. I'm not your mother. I'm a dog, said the dog. It's a little bit like a hound dog to me. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a... You said cow, you're right. Murr. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. That wouldn't work, would it? I wouldn't think so. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he even have a mother? He looks pretty lonely on this page by himself, doesn't he? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. It's like that perseverance we talked to about last week with... Mike Mulligan in the steam shovel. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Obviously not his mother. Now he looked way, way way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat just went on. Look at where he is, and look at where the boat is. I'm glad he stopped. He looked way, way up. He saw a big airplane. Here I am, mother, here he called out, but the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Hmm. Are you remembering everything he's talked to? Keep remembering. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There's my mother. And this makes me think of Mike Mulligan. He ran right up to this big thing. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. Uh-oh, look at where he's sitting. Danger, danger. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you're not my mother, said the baby bird. You're a snort. I have to get out of here. Glad he thought of that. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up and up and up. It went way, way up and up and up and up went the baby bird. Oh, dear.
But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is the snort going to do with me? Get me out of here. Oh, dear, this looks bad. I hope it's going to end well. Oh. Just then, the snort, snort, came to a stop. Oh, dear. said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. I like the way the writer and the illustrator drew the bird there. Then something happened at that very moment. The snort put that baby bird boop, right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Yay! And just at that very same moment, the mother bird came flying back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You're not a kitten. You're not a hen. You're not a dog. You're not a cow. You're not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. Yay! And then the book shows the tree and they're, they're in the nest together. Mother and baby. Yay. So, today, whoever, whomever is in your home raising you, being your mama, your mama, your grandma, your stepmom, your aunt. Maybe it's your daddy who's doing both things. Make sure whoever your parent is is making sure that you are fed and taken care of gets a big hug from you. Go and find them and make sure you do that. And then write them a note or a card. Tell them how much you love them. So this week we're going to focus on mamas and teachers. Often the same combination. Have a good week. I love you. See you soon. Bye now.